and now we have handled the form with the text fields and now the next thing that we can do is we can add more input elements to the form and then we can handle all of them like the radio buttons the checkboxes the drop downs and more so let's start with the checkboxes so checkboxes are used inside the forms to check the multiple options and it lets users to select one or more options of the limited number of choices so now we can just move on to the properties so the default check property is used for the by default check or like the initial check property which will enable the checkbox on the initial render and then we have additional properties also like the on change the disabled the sx for the styling etc so these are the properties that we use inside the forms and then we can just move on to the checkbox component inside the material ui to discover more about the checkbox so now you can see the checkboxes allow the user to select one or more elements from a set or a list and then you can see these are the basic checkboxes that we can use and they are very simple and then you can see now we have the label checkboxes also and then we have the sizes and then we have the colors of the checkboxes and more so now we can just grab the label checkboxes there so this is the code for it so now you can see the code and now we can just copy this but if you can see the code now you can see we have the form group so the form group is a group of form elements like here it is a group of the checkboxes so we have wrapped it inside the form group and the form control here is also there so the form control label is the label that we have given to the checkbox like you can see we have given the control of the checkbox of this label so when the checkboxes will be selected or when the form control label will be selected the checkbox will be given the control and then it will handle the state so we have given the control label to the checkbox and now you can see this is the disabled checkbox so we have just given the property of the disabled and then you can see this is not disabled so we can just copy this snippet and then we can just move on to the test.js and then we can just set the snippet after the text field now you can see we have the form group so we can import all of the things form group from the material ui the form control label the checkbox and all and now if i will now save and if i will now move on to the application once again now you can see now we have the checkbox one is label and now you can see initially it is checked and then we have the disabled checkbox also so we can just move on and then we can just remove the disabled from there and then we can just have only one checkbox there so now you can see the styling of the form first is not looking good so we can just provide a basic basic styling to the form so we can just add a style tag inside this and then we can just add an object and then object of css properties like the display will be equals to the flex and then we can just define a flex direction to the column so now everything will be available inside the columns now you can see name email the password and the checkboxes so now the checkbox is there and now we need to handle the state of this checkbox also so for that we can just move on to the input subject that we are defining a use state so here we are defining a use state and then we can just define a new property here and then we can just define a property like it can be a subscribe to newsletter and by default value it will be a false so initial value it will be the false so we can just move and then we can just move on to the checkbox to handle the state now and here we have the checkbox and now we can just remove the default check property from there we don't need the default check there and instead of this label we can just have a subscribe to newsletter and now we can just handle the state of the checkbox also so for that we can just define an on change function because the on change is also available there and then we can just set a callback function here and now in the callback function now we will call the set inputs now we need to call the set inputs again to set the state again and in the set inputs now we need to grab the previous state also so now we have grabbed the previous state also and then we can just have a object and inside the object first it will contain the previous state and then second now we need to handle the state of this form so to handle the state now we can just provide the property of the subscribe so the subscribe property will be there and the subscribe property will be equals to the reverse value of the inputs dot subscribe so if i will now save and if i will now move on to the form once again now we can just close this and now you can see once we will go to the inspect to check the values now we can give the name of the nickel we can have a email we can have a password and then we can just have a checkbox value to the subscribe so if i will now just click on the submit if i will now move on to the console now you can see we have the property we have the object and now you can see the subscribe equals to the true and if i will now just uncheck this if i will now just click on the submit now you can see the subscribe property is equals to the false so this is all about the checkboxes in the material ui so now we have handled the checkboxes with the material UI and with the use state. So now we will add more input elements to the form and then we can handle that.